Hello welcome, in this video I'm going to show you some problematic running that a chainsaw can produce that can be sorted out by adjusting the fuel screws on the carburettor. So if we can get the chainsaw running like this and it's revving up ok, it starts ok then all well and good. But with an issue like this where every time you press the throttle it just bogs down then it's worth trying to adjust the H-screw outwards anti-clockwise slowly until the problem subsides. This delivers an increased amount of fuel to the engine from the area of the carburettor that deals with high revs. And in this instance it's sorted. In this scenario each time we press the throttle the engine's running lumpy and there's quite a lot of smoke emitting from the exhaust. So in this situation it's worth trying to adjust the H-screw again but this time clockwise inwards steadily until this problem subsides. Usually being a symptom of too much fuel reaching the engine, turning the screw in clockwise will reduce the amount reaching the engine and make the engine work that bit better. In this different scenario, again the engine's struggling to rev up when we press the throttle. And the engine would stop if I didn't keep pressing the throttle. Here, it's worth adjusting the L-screw by turning it outwards slowly until this problem subsides. Being a symptom of running on too little of fuel on low revs, screwing this screw outwards will provide that fuel and help the engine to pick up. sounds much better. In this situation the engine's running lumpy when idling and there's a little more than usual exhaust smoke although we can't quite see it on camera. In this situation we can adjust the L screw by turning it clockwise inwards steadily until the engine sounds better. As this was a symptom of too much fuel reaching the engine at low revs, turning it inwards has reduced that amount making the engine run much smoother. In this instance the engine revs are high and the chain's running before we press the throttle. So it's worth adjusting the third screw, labelled T screw or idling screw, outwards anti-clockwise steadily until the engine revs lower and the chain stops. And at that I want to thank you so much for watching this video, it doesn't cover all possibilities on this subject but I had to start somewhere to give you a starting point should you have problems with the running of your chainsaw. If you need to know how to tune your chainsaw from start to finish then I do have another video here on YouTube, please check it out, it's in the link here. And so please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'll be back soon. Thank you so much for watching.